Hi and welcome to this math lesson where we are looking at multiplying expressions. Okay, now multiplication uh, I'm sure you have encountered before if you are at all older than 10 years I'm sure. But um, multiplication that we are going to look at is going to involve variables, so unknown values. But before we get there let's just look at the operators the operators that we might use. Now an operator is kind of the sign that we might use to show multiplication. We can use the multiplication sign. So I've got something times something. Then I can also use a dot. So if I've got a dot in the middle of two things it means I'm multiplying those two things. Then I can also put whatever I'm multiplying in a bracket and then that is multiplying something else. Okay, so if two brackets are next to each other or if something is in front of a bracket, okay, it means I'm multiplying that thing in front of the bracket with the bracket or at the back. Okay, or if it's at the back of the bracket, I'm multiplying it with everything inside the bracket. Okay, or if two brackets are next to each other and there's nothing in between them, it also means multiplication. Uh, then another thing that we might use to show multiplication is nothing. Okay. In other words, if there is absolutely nothing between two different, we call them factors, okay, they're also being multiplied. Okay, so I'll rather show that in some examples because it's difficult to draw nothing. Okay, so let's look at multiplying variables. Okay, let's multiply variables. In other words, unknown values. We looked in the previous video at variables could now be like an A and a B and a C and a X and a Y and a whatever. Okay, these represent numbers. Okay, so if I were to go and write X times Y, this is the same as saying X dot Y. Or it's the same as putting X in a bracket and putting Y in a bracket or it's the same as just writing X and nothing in between them and Y. So obviously of all these the simplest way is just to write XY. Okay? And because that is fairly simple, just writing XY, this becomes a new term. Now remember this whole thing is called a term. Okay? And something else might also be called a term like ZX. That's a different term because it's got different factors. Now what do I mean by factors? That's the next thing we will look at. Okay, Factors. When two things are multiplied or let me just say when things are multiplied. Okay when things are multiplied they are called factors they are called factors okay so in a term and this is an example of a term but let me write out a, a more common example or a fuller example 2xy this whole expression is called a term and if I was adding something else to it, let's say I'm adding 4zx's, then I've got another term. Now these are unlike terms because they don't have the same factors. Okay, The variable factors is what determines whether something is alike or whether it's unlike. In this case, we've got different variable factors. Yes, we both we uh, we both terms have an x factor, okay. But not both terms have y factors. This one doesn't have a y factor. So because we've got unlike factors, we can't add the coefficients, okay. So these are called the coefficients. That's telling me I've got two x y terms. This one is telling me I've got four z x terms. Okay, so that is what we call factors. Okay, now what if we were multiplying same factors? Okay, same variables, I mean. 
in other words I'm talking about multiplying multiplying same variables okay, in other words x times x and I'm probably saying these things you probably know it okay what happens if I'm saying x times x. Now what we looked at before is just writing this as x x. Um, but instead in mathematics we have another notation for this. When I'm multiplying something by itself I can change its exponent. I write it in this format x to the power of 2. So that I actually have this format. I've got a base which is this one okay that's my base and the base has an exponent okay exponent and the exponent tell me how many times do I multiply my base by itself and this thing is called a term this base and exponent together is called a term. Uh, later on we'll, we'll also learn that it's called a power but this would uh, be an example of a term one term okay. and the exponent tells me also how many factors I have I've got two x factors okay. and then in front of the base would be the coefficient just going to round it off the coefficient is multiplying the base and it tells me how many terms of this base says I have okay so an example might be 2y to the power of 5 tells me that this is actually 2y y y y y y is multiplying by itself five times and there's two of these terms so I can also write it as that plus y y y y y okay so there's one two terms where in each term I have y multiplying y five times. Okay, so that is when I multiply ply bases with itself. So in the next video we'll actually look at how can we multiply two terms with each other or actually what we're going to call it is um, monomials. Okay, if I multiply two monomials with each other a monomial, monomial. A monomial is simply a single term. Let's look at that in the next video.